If you lag behind in science in Civilization VI, you could easily find yourself on the losing side of a battle. Luckily, if you have a lot of culture, you could even the playing field by combining identical troops into corps, fleets, armadas, and armies. They're unlocked with nationalism and mobilization in the mid to late game and allow you to combine two or three units into one. When you combine units like this, it does not directly add up their combat strength, but instead only adds 10 strength for units combined into cores and fleets and 17 for units combined into armies and armadas. This allows a Muscoman corps to go toe to toe with a line infantry and a Muscoman army to challenge a modern infantry unit. Note that combining aircraft carriers does not increase their aircraft capacity, so I would advise against ever combining them to allow more planes to do the fighting. Promotions get carried over when combined, but only if they're different. So if two main melee units combine and one has the battle cry promotion and the other has the tortoise promotion, the combined unit gets both. But if both of them only have the battle cry promotion, then the new combined unit only gets the one promotion. So when combining units, be sure to hover over the promotions in the unit panel to get the most out of your combinations. Health is also carried over when combined, so a full health unit joining arms with a low health unit will create a new combination with mid health, which could save a unit's life if timed properly. The highest combat experience modifier is carried over as well. For those who don't know, encampment buildings give plus 25% combat experience to land units and it even stacks. The Harbor buildings do the same theme, but for naval units. And yes, the aerodrome buildings do the same for planes, but they cannot be combined, so it is not relevant here. So if you have a unit made in the early game without an encampment and combine it with a unit made in a city with a barrack and armory, giving it plus 50% combat experience, then a new unit will have said modifier. You can train these combos outright with the military academy and seaport, which actually allows for them to be built cheaper than building the two or three units on their own. Even if you are not planning on fighting anytime soon, it's still a good idea to combine at least one of each combo for that sweet era score, as well as saving on resources since the combined unit only consumes one of its required strategic resource instead of two or three, and the maintenance cost is not much higher than it would be if the units were on their own either. Finally, the giant death robot, known as the GDR for short, are the only unit that cannot be combined into cores and armies, but I think you should be allowed to because it would be really funny. Hashtag combine the GDR. Support me on Patreon. I'm Riddick Acidic, and I'll see you in the next era.